Hello, hello, hello. And I am Jack from Conspirator Games. And what we have here is some Guild Wars 2 PvP. Some awesome, awesome Guild Wars 2 PvP. Now, I, I played this during the stress test on the 14th. And there was supposed to be connection issues and lag issues, but I didn't have any, really. It went perfectly well. No problems whatsoever. So, good job on that one, um, ArenaNet. And others. Um, so yeah, I'm playing a Thief here. Um, Thief was the most fun I had with. I played... I tried... Um, this for PvP. I tried Elementalist. I tried Ranger, and I tried Thief. Um, I didn't particularly like the Elementalist because it was very, very squishy, and I couldn't stop dying. I was terrible. It was probably me because people who play Elementalist, I, mean, I enjoyed the Elementalist for PvE, but PvP not so much. There are people who play in PvP, and they are very good with it, so obviously the Elementalist isn't a bad class for PvP. I just don't know how to use it, and I die all the time. So I didn't particularly like that. The Ranger was better, but I still wasn't so sure on it. It gave me um, a great sword and a longbow. The longbow didn't seem to do much. I mean, it it done a fair bit of damage, but I don't know. I just I didn't seem to use it that much. I didn't feel um, impressed with it. So I was using the great sword, which it done a fair bit of damage as well, but I I didn't really find anything special. And again, I wasn't very good with it. Not that I'm much better with the thief, but I enjoy the thief. Thief's probably my favourite class so far. And I have played Warrior, Ranger, Elementalist, and Thief. Um, in the next weekend, I think I'll play the other classes, just to make sure I'm not missing out. But the other classes didn't appeal to me. That's why I didn't try them. Anyway, PvP. There are, there are only two maps. In, in the weekend, there's only two maps. And in the stress test, there's only two maps. There's going to be more maps, clearly. Then it's going to have just two maps. But at the moment, there's only two. Um, Battle of Kylo, which is this one. And the other one, the Forest of something. I think Nifhelm or something. I, I'm... I, yeah. I'll have to find that out and maybe annotate it. But, yeah, there's two maps. This one... Um, see, this middle part you can see the other two points from out the windows whereas the other map everything seems to be separated um, everything's separated by small like narrow kind of not corridors but kind of pathways and like surrounded by cliffs and things like that so everyone just feels isolated really this one is it's a little village type thing it's a little town so, you know, it, I like this one. This is probably my favourite out of the two. And another thing I noticed, which is a bit unfortunate, was team balancing and things. Now, there is a balance system in there. If there's more than two extra players on one team, it'll shift one of them, or shift a player onto the other team. But at one point... um. It was 2v1. There was two people against just me. And nobody joined for about 5 minutes. So it was a completely one-sided game for about 5 minutes. And it was not very fun, I'll tell you now. Um, so they could probably work on maybe filling up teams before starting new games type thing. Because yeah, it was it wasn't fun being ganged up on by two other people, especially when one of them was a warrior with a rifle. Now warriors with rifles are the bane of my game life. Okay, because 
the amount of snares and stuns they seem to have. He was rifle, and the offset was a two-handed mace, a maul, or whatever you want to call it, which has a lot of stuns as well, and a lot of kind of jumping around and smashing things. So they are horrible. And this guy was especially good at being a warrior, which was painful, very, very painful. Um, now I'll talk about my skill choices. Um, now I've gone for an odd choice, some people might think, because I don't really see a lot of people using it, but for my healing skill, number six, I'm using the Signet of Malice. Now, the passive on this is every time I hit something with any kind of hit, not bleeds or anything like that, but physical hits, I get healed. For, I'm not sure how much it is, but it's roughly, in this it's 150, and I have about 19k health or something. Which is good for the thief, I think. The reason I use it is because the thief has very fast attacks. Especially in daggers, dual daggers, which I'm using dual daggers and dual pistols. Especially on the number 3 skill, which I think is Leaping Death Blossom. I might be wrong there. But that skill hits maybe 3 or 4 times very quickly. And you can use it 3 or 4 times before your initiative runs out. Which is kind of the energy points that the thief has. And you heal you know, a good few K health when you hit with all of them. So I, I enjoy it and it doesn't, I don't think it heals as much because you can activate it to heal. I don't think it heals as much as the other heals and it doesn't give you stealth or anything like the, like one of the other heals. But I like it. Um, and I'll tell you why, another reason why um, in a bit. On the number seven, I have haste. Now, I kept swapping this uh, number 7 out, trying to find one that I preferred. Because I couldn't find one really. I stuck with haste for the longest time. Simply because I like quickness. Because it gives you quickness and um, extra regeneration on the endurance, which is the dodge bar, dodge energy. So you can dodge a lot more. And... Um, it gives you quickness, which is basically haste. It makes you attack faster. Um, it makes you perform actions faster, so you can finish people off in half the time. Pretty much. Which is fun. But I don't know why I stuck with it, because it's not that useful. It's good, because it probably doubles your DPS. Um, I use it occasionally, I'm not even sure. I don't use it as often as I should. But, anyway, in number 8 I have the Assassin Signet. The passive on this increases my power. And when I activate it, it does 150% extra damage. In fact, 150% damage on my next attack. Now, it doesn't sound that great, but again, I wasn't really sure what to put there. So, I just ended up picking that one and leaving it at that. Now, number 9, Scale Venom. Now, this one I picked because it it inflicts vulnerability, which I think um, kind of makes everyone do more damage onto the target. And Weakness, which lowers the target's damage. And that's for the, and that's for the next 3 attacks. So that's quite useful. And finally, my ultimate is Dagger Storm. Now, this is very good with Signet of Malice because it hits a lot very quickly. So if you have two or three people around you, even two people, you activate Dagger Storm with Signet of Malice, you will heal to full and you won't be able to die. It reflects projectiles and throws daggers around, crippling and doing damage. And yeah, it basically makes you invulnerable when you've got Signet of Malice and that's why I like it. And that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.